In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys 10 different ways to enhance your laser beam and make it more visible. Now, this isn't going to be altering your laser in any way. You don't need to open up your laser to make it more powerful or anything like that. These are just 10 little tricks that you can use if you get a laser pointer and maybe you want to be able to see the beam, but you can't see the beam and you want to show somebody the beam or maybe take a video of it. These are 10 different ways that you can make that beam more visible temporarily. Now before I start, always make sure you use laser safety glasses when working with lasers and never shine your laser at any people, any animals, or any vehicles. Now the first one is the most obvious one. This is going to be a fog machine and this is what I most commonly use in my videos. Fog machines work great for enhancing a laser beam and making it extremely visible. They really make it look like a lightsaber, especially if you use the fog machine in a closed off room. The second one, which a lot of people might never think to try, is a fish tank or an aquarium. Try to use one that has no fish in it. You don't want to accidentally blind your fish. And also be careful because it will reflect off the glass. But sending a laser through water makes the beam extremely visible as well. The third one is hot water. I typically use the steam that comes off of a hot tub, but you could also use boiling water in a pan. Both work pretty well for showing the beam of a laser. Just make sure you don't accidentally drop your laser into the water. The fourth one is weather, both snow and rain. Both of them will show the beam pretty well even in broad daylight. Um, again, also just be careful that you don't get your laser too wet because you can break it. And kind of sticking on the topic of weather, the fifth one is foggy days or nights and nights in particular. Um, this one, you're going to get some tremendously good results. If it's really foggy out, your beam will be like a literal lightsaber. And you got to be careful because your beam is now so visible that you can get in more trouble with it because more people can see it. So just be safe with it. So this next one's one that I used to do before I really started using my fog machine a lot. And if you have a really old piece of furniture that has a lot of dust in it, you can kind of hit the piece of furniture to get the dust to come out. And then you can shine your laser through that little area where all the dust is hanging in the air and your laser beam will get caught up on all those particles of dust and you'll be able to see the beam uh, pretty well for a completely lit room. The seventh one is smoking. You can use anything from a cigarette to a hookah pen to any other type of smoking device and the smoke that's created will illuminate the beam on your laser very well. The eighth one is a clothes iron. Most clothes irons will have a feature where you can shoot steam um, it helps you de-wrinkle clothes, and the steam that you shoot out of the clothes iron will light up your beam very well in the air, and if you keep pressing that button a lot, you can make your beam almost completely solid for a short period of time. The ninth one is matches. If you get your laser in a somewhat dim or dark room and you light some matches and then immediately blow them out, you can use the smoke from the matches and just hold it just under the laser beam and it will light up the laser beam. I've done this during some of my burn tests to help show where the focal point of the laser is. And the last one is a fire pit. The smoke created from a fire pit is a good way to make your beam visible and show it to people. And it will also sometimes kind of give you a cool, uh, kind of hazy, liquidy effect at night when you move the laser around fast in the smoke. Um, it doesn't really do it as much during the daytime. But anyways, that pretty much wraps up this little guide on 10 different ways to make your laser beam more visible. And just as a little footnote, if you're looking to select a laser and you're not sure what color to get and you want one that is the most visible, uh, green lasers are the most visible to the human eye. And I've done a video explaining how this works with all the different colors or wavelengths of lasers. I'll link that down below in the video description if you're interested. I know a lot of these were probably self-explanatory, but... I hope that I was able to share at least one or two ideas with you guys that you might not have already known. So if you guys found this video helpful in any way at all, hit that like button down below and hit that subscribe button for more amazing laser content just like this. And as always, thank you for watching.